Hey everybody, this is Mike coming at you from North Central, North Carolina. I live in an area called the Triad. It's uh, three small cities, Winston-Salem, Greensboro, High Point. I'm out on Lake Norman today with the Mavic Air 2. I came here a couple months ago with the Pro Platinum, but it was kind of a foggy, dreary morning. and uh, I planned on going to the coast, but the weather wasn't going to be worth a damn. So I thought I'd come back down here. Um, that facility we're flying towards is called the Marshall Steam Station. It's a coal-fired electrical generating plant. And um, let's say it came online in 1965 and supplies approximately 2 million homes with power. Uh, they made this lake. It's a matter of fact, it's the largest in North Carolina. It's massive. There's 600 miles of shoreline. They made five lakes out of the Catawba River, which is named after the Catawba Indians. The river actually starts up in the mountains, and the first lake's called Lake James, and then it flows into Road Hiss. It's kind of an odd name. Then Lake Hickory, Lookout Shoals, and then Lake Norman here. After it leaves Norman, it turns into the Watery River, and it flows through South Carolina. It's got your basic fish across this area. They have a lot of largemouth tournaments here. It's got a real good largemouth population. And your catfish, of course, you know, your flathead, your blue channel cats, bullheads. It's got crappie, uh, that's crappie for people up north. Bluegill, white perch, white bass. It used to have a real good striped bass population. They didn't reproduce in the lake, but they would stock them every year. I mean, a big one was 8 or 10 pounds, but you could catch them one after the other in the spring when they'd make their spawning run. But they started dying off. We had a real bad drought in 07. There was a giant striper kill, and uh, the population just never could recover, even though they kept stocking them. So they finally changed up, and they, now they stock hybrids, which is a striped bass, white bass hybrid well I wanted to fly lower towards the water I'm actually standing on a hill across from this steam station and right in front of me uh, there's some buildings restaurants and a marina and stuff so I couldn't really get below a hundred feet over the water because it was blocking my signal because I kinda wanted to squeeze in and get a little bit closer to the boats Hell, if I'd have waited just a day, I would have had the Zoom feature that they... We had the firmware update last night. And now we got a Zoom feature on the Air 2. I guess you guys know that have it. Pretty cool. Way you can Zoom twice on 4K and 2.75. On 1080, you got four stops. You can Zoom in and out. What I liked about it, instead of tapping which looks pretty mechanical and not too cinematic. You can hold down and a slider appears and then you can slide the zoom back and forth. A lot more cinematic looking. That was a great idea. That tapping to you know to zoom in and out, that don't look that doesn't look worth a damn. But yeah, you just hold your finger on the icon and a slider appears and you can zoom in and out real smooth. That's cool. Plus, I like that new battery telemetry they put up. Instead of just having the percentage, you know, it tells you how much battery you got left, how much you got left before critical, and then how much you got before the battery's totally depleted. I'll tell you what, they keep adding these features like, you know, like we got yaw speed control now. I bet money. I bet anybody that the Mavic 3 Pro is going to be on the Fly app. The way they keep slowly making it better and better. I guarantee it will be. You'll see what I mean when I land here in a few minutes. About why I couldn't get much lower. I got an ND16 on. I noticed one thing, you know. When I land, you'll see, going against the sun, it did not look worth a damn. I had the sun at my back that looked a whole lot better.
Yeah, I wanted to zoom in closer. I I like to. I was out in the backyard a while ago checking out that zoom feature. It looks pretty good for a digital zoom. It's about 8:30 in the morning. It can get packed out here. If it was later on in the day, well, you got to be done by about 9:30 or 10. It's just been so hot lately. That bridge would be a good place to do a time lapse because it's just one boat after another going underneath it. I like this Mavic Air too. It's just the right size. I haven't really tried active track. I'm not chasing boats as you can see. I'm really just filming them. I couldn't get low enough. But I had a hard time finding somewhere I could fly. I'm actually standing in a restaurant parking lot. I plan on going to the coast. I've been wanting to go. It's a pretty good drive for me. It's about four hours. So it's not just a day thing. But I've been wanting to go real bad and get some good footage there. I appreciate you stopping by my channel and checking out Lake Norman. I used to do a lot of fishing when I was younger here up in the tail races of the dam. There would be so much shad up there, you didn't even need to take bait with you. You could just take a little dip net and dip out all the bait you needed for the day. There'd be giant schools of shad swimming along the walls. You'd fish a what they call Carolina rig, a bait hook, a leader with a three-quarter to an ounce sinker egg sinker you could catch striper one after the other all through the 90s and the late 80s then like I said they just they just couldn't maintain in the lake I don't know how these hybrids are going to do they just started stocking them like I said it's massive we had the steam generating plant on this end, but on the other end of the lake, there's actually a nuclear power plant. I saw where um, DJI is supposed to come out with an FPV drone also. Everybody's flying FPV lately, it seems like. It looks fun and exciting, though. Hell, I'd like to learn how. But like I said, I guarantee that Mavic 3 Pro is going to be on this Fly app. As they're building it up. I was glad they put that yaw speed control. And then they let you do it on all three modes. Tripod mode, normal, and sport mode. You could have three different settings. And then they finally put the gimbal speed control on. That's the first time a DJI drone had ever come out without gimbal speed control. And I was glad. I mean, that that uh, roller, you could kind of manage it, but I'd always end up moving it too quick. I wish I had a slider instead of a roller. But anyway, I appreciate you guys coming by and checking out the channel with me. Boy, I wish I'd have had that zoom feature out there. Could have zoomed in on maybe some babes in bikinis in the back of the boat. I'm getting ready to land here. I was wanting you to see how terrible it looked with the ND filter on facing the sun. Not exactly facing it. It's kind of a little bit off to the right. But then you'll see as soon as the drone turns around to land, it just looks perfect. But it looks terrible going against the sun. It just seemed such an extreme to me. It was so odd, man. Yeah, I'm getting ready to come back and land now. Now here I am. See how terrible that looks? Just terrible. Blown out. It's, it's coming towards me. The sun's maybe a little bit to the right. 
now it's getting ready to turn and land. I let it land automatically. Well, watch how great it looks as soon as it turns. Bam! Now look at that. Doesn't that look great? That's so odd. But you'll see why I couldn't get as low as I would have liked to to the water. Here's the rooftops of the buildings. You see the plant way across. That's how far I am standing on another hill. About eye level with that plant. And see these buildings were right in front of me. So a couple times I tried to get lower than about 90 feet and I lost my signal a couple times. But anyway, thanks for stopping by my channel. I appreciate it. I hope everybody's doing well. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.